Yeah. Some of that might be unfamiliar to Jim or whatever. Yeah. I'm you guys take yeah, I mean, I'm going to take all of it. I think we had a great game plan. We were locked in. We, uh, we were really just wanting to get stops, and, and then that's how we kind of found some rhythm and juice down on the offensive end. We know we're going to make shots and make plays, but if we can lock in defensively, we're going to be tough to beat. Alex, did you feel like it was kind of deja vu? Uh, you started the scoring again from that left corner with three-pointer just like you did three days ago against Nevada? Um, I mean, I guess you're a little bit. Um, you know, like I said, uh, I just love to, to bring energy to the table. And luckily, I mean, my teammate found me for a wide open shot, and I was able to knock it down and, and get the momentum going. Alex, uh, that's five games now with 10 or more threes. That's a school record. How important is taking and making three point shots for this offense? Um, it's extremely important. Uh, we obviously don't want to rely on it, but we know that we're a team full of uh, great shooters, so we definitely uh, want to keep shooting uh, at a high clip. I think it just it, it's just another good win where we can keep building, building great habits, uh, getting stops defensively. I know that um, they 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 um, I wasn't here last year, but I I know that they got them pretty good last year. So we we felt like we we owed them one this year, and I think just kind of that. That same mindset is, is going to carry over, and we want to just keep keep going. We want to keep getting better, and we, we want more. So that's what we're going to do. Alex, we heard Jake talk about what was working so well defensively. What was working so well for, for you guys, especially out on the perimeter, where you guys really locking down? Um, what were you doing, I guess? Or? Just our, our scout. I mean, I, I credit it, it to Coach Robinson. He had a great scout on them, and uh, we, do, we were just working hard every day leading up to the game. Um, and guys were really locked in. Uh, on who, who their man was and, and what their uh, tendencies were, and, and we really came out there and, and executed it. Jake, what did you see out of Yoli after he scoreless in the first half and in the second half, you know, kind of make a few contributions? What did yeah, you see from him? I, saw, I saw greatness. I mean, that's, that's a sign of a great player is being able to respond, and he fought through the frustration. In the first half, he had zero points, but he was getting – Guys, so many open looks and everything he was doing out there. You might you might not see it on the stat sheet, but he was he was helping us get great looks and and then and then in the second half, like it, it was only a matter of time. Like he's gonna he's gonna make plays and he's gonna you know get baskets. But I think the way he kind of responded to that frust that frustrating first half, you know, getting fouled and and whatnot. Um, that that's a sign of a, a really great player if you can fight through that frustration. He kind of set you guys up a couple of times on the edge. Is, is, is Yoli almost underrated as a passer in some ways? Uh, I mean, I, I mean, he's such a great scorer that people, you know, kind of overlook that aspect of his game. But he's always been a great passer and a willing passer. So with that, with that um, skill set and that willingness to make plays for his teammates, he's he's a really, really dangerous player. Jake, what do you feel like this win does for you guys to shoot well below your averages uh, in the field and to not take down a, a pretty good team in the battle? I mean, it, it just proves to us that we can win games different ways. We don't have to make shots every night to, to win games. We, we can win games def on the defensive side of the ball, and um, that's – that's going to be, you know, huge for us going forward because you can't control um, the shots that you you make. You know, they're going to go in and you're going to miss some. But you can always control your effort defensively, and I think this game proves to us that if we're locked in defensively, that we give ourselves a chance to win every game. You guys only, uh, you only had like five assists. Is this defense built to force the other team to? Beat you off the bounce, or is that just how it works? I think every team's different. Every team has different personnel and different ways to play. But we knew that they wanted to kind of spread us out and and try to get downhill and you know shoot shots. And we wanted to to not let them shoot those shots and and kind of protect each other with our team defense. You know, we weren't gonna guard in isolation. Just one player. We we had guys um, in gaps and, and talking. So I think. Taking them out of what they did was was our 
uh, game plan, and we executed pretty well. Although it will be the second installment, this will be you all's first time at the Beehive Classic. What are you looking forward to that day? Um, just to get, I mean, a win. That's that's uh, our main goal that we have in mind. And I know that this team, uh, we don't like to lose. So uh, we're going to come with that mentality um, to come out there and give it our all, just like we did these past two games. Does it give you guys an edge that you played in that arena recently? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I. We like playing up there. It's fun. It's it's a big arena and you know big court and shoot the ball well. But I'm not sure if it does or not. But we're we're gonna give ourselves an edge by playing really hard. <laughs> Utah games. You got Utah last week. Utah State on the weekend. What do you think of kind of these these local derbies, these local matchups in state basketball? Like uh -huh. I like it uh, just because, you know, there's a little bit of rivalry in it, and I know that uh, it just makes uh, both teams better, um, and, it, and it helps us learn uh, more about ourselves, just like we did after the Utah loss. So um, it really helped us learn what we needed to do, and, and we executed that uh, in these uh, last two games. Compared to the territorial matchup in Arizona? Or? A little bit, yeah. <laughs>